And greetings everybody and good day no matter where you are and what part of the world you're in i hope that you are having a good day okay so i just um started making a hair mask for myself because i'm gonna um do a protein treatment today and um i decided to record it so i already put um two spoonfuls of mayonnaise two tablespoons full I'm going to put, I bought some eggs to, to, um, to do my hair mask. I don't really eat eggs, so um, <laughs> I really just bought them for my hair. Um, so, Sawyer's, I've never used this mayonnaise before. I got it from Wayfield in Georgia. Um, I mean, it pretty much has the same ingredients as every other mayonnaise, and since I'm using it for my hair, I wasn't really being picky about the brand. Um, so it is Sawyer's. It says they've been in business since 1887. They're out of Richmond, Virginia. Um, again, it's just for my hair mask. Um, it's funny because I wasn't being picky about the mayonnaise, but... <laughs> I did get free range eggs. Um, you know that there's a, they're stopping the trucks and there's food shortages and stuff like that. So these were actually the only free range eggs that were available. I didn't necessarily have to have them brown, um, but again, these were the only ones that were available. Um, and. Like I said, I don't really eat eggs. They give me gas. Um, but I will eat them if they're in something. Um, but after my fast, which will end on March 10th, I'm not sure if I will eat eggs. Um, I doubt it. But... Um, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm known to change my mind, so don't hold me to it. Um, all that stuff in the background is my business stuff. Um, things that I use to make my products. So, I'm not even going to say excuse my background because it is what it is. I live in a one bedroom apartment at the moment and so I have to utilize the space in the best way that I can and still keep up with my business which is www.circa2009.com by the way I have a holistic products and spiritual products available if you are interested um, things like sage yoni steams um, different kinds of teas uh body butter hair oil okay um now we're gonna add a little humectant um this raw unfiltered um honey it does have wildflowers in it but that's fine it's going in my hair uh so i'm gonna put a little bit of that in there I wanted to make a small batch because I didn't want to have too many leftovers, but it's starting to look like I'm going to have to add a little more mayonnaise. Yeah, I'm going to have to add more mayo, which is fine. my whisk but I can't find it so I'm just gonna keep doing this with the spatula so it's pretty watery
one of the good thing about using a spatula like this is that you can scrape the sides. <clears throat> um, I'll do my best not to wait really till I turn the water off in case you're not able to hear me. I know sometimes the noise canceling software will um, drown out the background, but sometimes it does not. Okay, but I did clean my spoon. I'm going to go back in with my mayonnaise. I do my best not to use metal. Um, for the most part, I do prefer to buy, um, to use wood utensils, if at all possible. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. So that was about a tablespoon and a half. I'm a clean as you go type of person it is a habit so um, <laughs> it just kind of happens naturally I... didn't mean to keep you waiting <laughs> okay it did thicken up a little bit but it never really thickens like thick thick really Usually is still a little runny. A little runny. And of course, I'm going to use my Circa 2009 shampoo to shampoo my hair. It does clean your hair really well without stripping it. that strippage okay so that's what we got it's not too runny but it it'll be more runny like once you put it in your hair and you're, you put your little cap or your conditioning cap on plastic bag whatever you do um, it will be a little runny so you might want to, um, I usually get some paper towel. Kind of like how they do in the salon with the cotton. And roll it up like this. And put it around. And then put the plastic cap on. And then still keep a towel uh, around my neck for the drippage. Came through drippage drip drip <laughs> y'all know I'm silly but anyway that's pretty much it um, I'm going to go ahead and shampoo my hair and get ready to add this I'm going to sit underneath my dryer um, I do have uh, one of the hair dryers that you sit under but if you don't you can always get one of the bonnets and put your blow dryer inside the the tunnel or whatever you want to call it the little hole there's a hole you put on over your blow dryer um, and you will still get the same benefits if you don't have a blow dryer <clears throat> or a hair dryer that you can sit under you can always get a hot towel put a plastic cap get the hot towel and then wrap that over the plastic cap I'm sorry you can't see me you would just wrap that over the plastic cap um, and again, you would still get that heat because you're going to get your heat, your body heat is going to warm up the conditioner. Plus the heat from the hot towel will also warm up the conditioner as well. So that's pretty much it. Um, I wish I had an avocado, but I'm fasting, so I don't have food <laughs> in the house right now. Um, just water because um, I'm, you know, doing my best to. Uh, do what I need to do in terms of my fast so um, yeah I wish I had an avocado or even a banana but I don't have either one of those so I'm just going to use it like that um, I bought the mayonnaise and the eggs a while ago um, 
I planned on doing this a couple weeks ago, but I'm just getting around to it. So that's that. But I'm gonna go ahead in here and shampoo my hair and put my conditioner in and sit under my dryer. I hope y'all have a good rest of the day. And if you want to, go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend. And hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more. But only if you want to. <laughs> Alright y'all, later. I love you.